Um, a federal judge is going to be ending Title 42 this week, giving the federal government a five-week deadline to close it, making it the official end on December 21st. Well, joining me now for more, Oklahoma Senator-elect and member of several committees, Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen. Now, folks, this is a sacred day and an even more sacred day for hunters. Mark Wayne Mullen has taken time out of his hunting to be with us, sir. Honor is mine. Carl, only for you. And literally, I was planning on doing it in my deer stand. The problem was is I couldn't get signal, <laughs> so I ran down here to the... Uh, so what we call the station out on the ranch. And <laughs> you gave me an opportunity to warm up, but I'm, I had to leave my daughter in the deer stand. So uh, she, she's probably happy with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, sir, I, as, a, as a hunter myself, this is a, a real honor to have you take a break from that to come join us on a Sunday. But uh, I want to yeah. talk about the, the fact that um, the, the, you know, the Trump era policy has been used to deny 2.3 million illegal migrants they would have to wait in Mexico. This Title 42 has just con conflated right. the issues. At some point, do they have to say, like, okay, guys, the wall may be needed? Well, I mean, first of all, a lot of people don't even understand what Title 42 did. What Title 42 did was allow us to, to um, uh, ship people back either to Mexico or back to the country that they came from because of COVID if they were a single male traveling alone, which is a big issue we have, considering that last month alone, we caught nine single males traveling by themselves that were on the terrorist watch list. Now, we were up 334% on, on, um, on crossings just last month alone, previously since Trump was in office. But you just think about the dangers that we have. Because of the Title 42, we were able to apprehend, hold on to those nine people, for three days until we could figure out where they came from, and that's when they got a hit. And those nine people, the average individual got a hit, which means by a hit, when we put them into a database, it goes through all these different databases before they finally, something may click up on them. Those nine individuals, it was over two days, it was on the second day before we actually got hold of that they were wanted on the watch list. Now, uh, without Title 42, these individuals would be released within 24 hours. This is a huge national security issue we have here, and and you have uh, the administration trying to tell us that the that the border is secure. That what a joke! What are they trying to do here to the American people? Mislead us? Well, that's what they've been doing since they've been in office. It's unbelievable to me. And Alejandro Mayorkas, he just says, oh, no, "Border secure, nothing to see here." In, in a in a in a post midterm House that you right. will not be a part of, you will obviously be a, a senator by that time. Uh, did, is is an impeachment actually viable here? You know, you got to find out. Uh, impeachable is a high threshold. Obviously, we saw the Democrats misuse it. I do not want the Republicans to misuse it. Uh, but it's got to be treason, high crime, or a misdemeanor committed while they were in office. Uh, the question is: Is President Biden actually well, the one calling the shots here, or is it somebody else? I think all of us believe that. Biden is 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 a puppet president to begin with, and somebody else is calling the shots. And so unless it's directly related to him, then it's not impeachable. He would have to give the direct order for that to take place. Um, uh, but I, I think that there is a, a lot of people that may be downstream that should be removed from office. And that's a good thing that Kevin McCarthy, our speaker-elect Kevin McCarthy in the House, has said that he is going to do these investigations where the Democrats wasn't willing to look at themselves. Mm -hmm. At least in the House, they will start looking at this. Yeah. Senator, I can't tell you what, or Senator, to be or to elect your senator in my eyes. What an honor it is for you to take time from your family during hunting season to be with us. It really is, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, sir, thank you. As I said, Carl, only for you, man. All right.